All right, Ivy Physics. So we left off in class, not quite getting through everything I'd anticipated we would today on Monday, the, I don't know, 23rd. Um, and so I'm going to talk about motion maps right now. This video shouldn't be longer than like five minutes. So I think it's pretty quick and I think you'll find them pretty intuitive. So there's different ways that we'll look at motion. We'll use graphs, which we've already used last unit. We'll use these things called motion maps, which I'm going to tell you about today. Words, which you're familiar with. And equations, which we're not going to get to today at all. So in your walking lab, ideally, you should have found some pretty linear looking results. Um, you would have max min line, but ultimately, we know that your walking lab, you should be at position of zero when time is equal to zero. Um, and then it's going to be a linear slope. So a linear, not curvy graph. So this is a graphical way of looking at labs or at motion. And we'll continue looking at motion graphically. But there's this really cool representation that we're also going to use called a motion map. And the idea of a motion map is that it's kind of like you're taking a picture with a strobe light. So we're taking pictures at equal time interviews of where the object is. So here you can see I have actually a drawn picture of the object, but the motion map is actually just this part. Um, and so you notice that there's these little tiny labels, T0, T1, T2, T3. Um, and that there's spacing between the arrows. So the arrow, the location of the little dot, is showing the location of the back of the car or the location of the object. Uh, the size of the arrow, notice the size is the same on each one of these, is showing us how fast the car is moving. So here, the car's velocity or its speed, either one, is staying the same. So let's compare this to another motion map. So again, here I have both the motion map and the picture of the object. Take a moment and what's different? Think about what's different about these two example cars. What do you notice is different about them? And if you said something like, this car is going faster in example two, you're totally right. We can see it's going faster in a couple different ways. One, it has longer arrows. So those are longer velocities. The other thing that we can notice is that each timestamp, time zero, time one, time two, they're further apart from each other. That means that it has traveled a further distance between each time than car in example one has. Uh, let's add in yet another car. Are you ready for it? This car is moving to the left. Hmm. And you can see that because, hey, the arrows are pointing to the left. This big arrow is my coordinate system. It's telling me that positive is to the right. So car number three has a negative velocity or a speed that is actually looks like the same as car number two, but its velocity is different because it's traveling in the opposite direction. So again, the motion map part of this is not the picture of the car. It's just the little arrow and dot showing you here's where my object is, here's where it is at the next time interval, here's where it is at the next time interval, and how fast it's going, and in what direction. So take a moment right now, maybe pause the video, and think about what does this car, what is this doing? What would the story of this car be? So take a moment to think about what would you describe the story of this car? Who would have done this in class? Who would have talked in the breakout room? Imagine you're talking to others. And maybe you think, oh, well, the car is moving fast in the positive direction, and then oh, something weird happens. These little dots, notice they don't have arrows. That means the car is stopped. It's not moving. Then what does the car do? Well, now it moves in the negative direction, or backwards, and it's moving a little bit slower than it was to start. So not too bad. Let's try drawing one. So this is actually number one on your homework. I'll do it with you. So take a moment and think about how you would draw a car that is parked in the parking lot that does not move. Maybe try this. This again is on the paper in your binder called motion maps. Okay, so I'll try this now that you've tried it. So I'm going to try to include at least three timestamps for a car that's in the parking lot and does not move. So that means that I'm going to have uh, the car, it doesn't actually matter where the car starts, so I'm gonna have the car be here. Um, I'm gonna make my pen a little smaller. So that's T0. And then it's not moving, so that means that at T1, 
the car is still here. And at T2, the car is still here. And at T3, I could just keep doing going, the car is still here. Notice that I'm just sort of stacking these on top of each other so that I know that they're there. This does not mean that the car has moved up. It's just indicating that like, if I had written them on top of each other, you wouldn't have been able to tell what's happening. But we're still at the same position. Position is same. We're only looking at 1D motion here along this line. So hopefully that's not too bad. Let's try one more together. And for reasons I don't understand, oh, oh, okay. Let's try one more. I'll do this, I'll do the next one with you as well. So now, uh, take a moment and try drawing a cow that moves slowly in the positive direction. So try drawing the motion map. And again, you're not drawing a picture of a cow, you're drawing the motion map, which is a dot with an arrow for its velocity. So try this yourself, pause the video. And now I'll try it with you. So I want a cow that moves in the positive direction or moves. No, I know. And again, it doesn't tell us where the cow starts. So I'm going to have the cow start here. There's my cow. And it's moving slowly in the positive direction. So slowly means its arrow or its velocity will be small. Positive direction means towards the positive sign that way. So I'm going to have my arrow be small, and this is T0. Or you could just start with T1. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, and then because it's small, next, next time the cow is here. Is that like the same size arrow? They should be like the same size arrow. Because uh, it doesn't say that the cow is speeding up or slowing down. So that's T1. Then again, about the same size arrow. T2, then about the same size arrow, T3, and then, boy, this cow. I wish it had moved a little bit faster so I wouldn't have to draw so many arrows. T4, then T5, oh my gosh, so many cow arrows, and then T6. So notice that all of my arrows are the same size, or at least I tried to make them about the same size. And notice that between each time interval, I did a bad job of this. Um, I'm trying to have about the same distance away. Because if the cow is moving slowly in the positive direction, it's moving at the same speed, that means between each time interval, it will have moved the same amount. Um, so this motion map idea is really meant to help you think about, well, what does it mean if something is moving in the positive direction or the negative direction? What does it mean if it's speeding up or slowing down? Um, and really showing that with these arrows. And these arrows you're drawing are vectors. They're showing us our velocity of our cow. Excellent. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Holler if you have any other questions and have a great break.